<laughs> Alright, welcome back to SOS. I'm Steph Sergeant Badass. Today, folks wanted me to feature more paracord. Dang my camera. Paracord funkiness. So, let's do some paracord funkiness over here. Alright, let's build a little bracelet thing in my bob. Yeah. <laughs> See everything okay? Alright, so I didn't mean for this to be taken apart before I started this thing. I I don't really have a need for a thermometer, so <laughs> I don't need to know the temperature really. It's kind of cool, but I think I'm going to take that out and I'm going to replace it with this. And I think I have one that's actually the same size as that, but this is a little bit bigger. But I'm going to incorporate this. All right. Uh, one thing you you can do you can get yourself some some clear plastic tubing I I particularly like this stuff and uh, if you're at Lowe's or uh, or so, one of the ele electrical sections you'll find stuff like this like the tubes and uh, also for uh, sprinkler systems if you if you just go and take a look at some of the things that include water uh, water distribution and stuff inside like Lowe's or Home Depot or something I, I want to tell you where to get it in case anyone's out there like man where do you get that so that's uh, that's what I've got here it's really flexible it's really soft and I can seal both ends up uh, inside here I have a sewing kit I have fire tender I have a, a little baggie with supplies and uh, fish hooks and weights and and uh, swivels and there's water water purification tablets and there's uh, there's a baggie I have a baggie in here for the water purification tablets I keep those together so you can spread the bag out put the tablets in put the water in you know what I mean and uh, lots of fishing line and the whole nine so you have you have needles and there's also a little surgical razor I've wrapped up inside the tender there so that being said, there's that, and, and like always, I'm going to use uh, Titan Survival Cord because I like it because of the snare wire and everything that's with it. Because you get all these nice little strands of cool stuff. You get the you get the wire, you get the fire tender, and all that stuff for the folks that. There's also fishing line in there, so I'm going to be using uh, today. I'm going to try to pull off using. I have 11 feet of this, and this is the copper. And I just wanted to include this because I always thought this was cool. But uh, if you wanted to gut, you uh, the reason why people like Titan Survival Cord isn't just for the gadgets that's inside of it. It's because it's 750 pounds, not 550. So it's not 550 cord, it's, it's 750 cord. So a lot of folks like it because it can hold more. It weighs a little bit more because of the copper wire and everything inside of it. Also the wax jute that's in there. So... It just has a little bit more weight to it. Now, uh, something like this, if you want to glow in the dark just to get all hippie, you could use glow in the dark. You could you can take this and actually cut it and gut this entire 11 feet. And you can gut 11 feet of this. And like I've done before on the channel, this is a homemade fid. Now you can get uh, you can get a homemade fid. This is the fid that I use. Uh, you just, uh, if you're gonna run uh, one set of cordage through another to change the color of it, because you like the insides, you would take, let's find the tip of this. This is just a cleaning rod that I've put a point on and you can do, like I said, you can do your own homemade fids. Now, you just push this into here and give it a twist. Now you can, you can stitch with this now. So it becomes a stitching tool and you can sew things up with it. You can sew things up with paracord just by using a fid. So a lot of times uh, I carry this one, which was donated by Chip out there that's probably watching. But uh, this, this is the one that I like the most because it's shorter, it's smoother, and it doesn't, if they get real rough, it gets kind of hard to uh, try and stitch with them. But you can stitch through other paracord with these things. You can just push it right through and lace through paracord. It's pretty crazy. But if you're doing a, a basket weave, because you can do basket weave with paracord, this is kind of like my paracord tricks or whatever, but I'll do a basket weave with you guys. I think it'll be cool for you guys to see it because I've done so many. I did a whole bunch of water bottles and things in the past. I've done a lot of that stuff. 
and you know because they used to sell paracord bracelets back in the day i was that guy right <laughs> did you sell but yes i did i know hide my face but anyway so i got this and i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and patch this and so i can get this connected but i'm gonna try and figure out a different way of utilizing this because this here they're a little bit dangerous to use these because it has the knife directly into it and I've shown you some that have lights and stuff this one also has the little mini ferrule rod in there which you know you would hate to lose that <laughs> oops where'd it go uh there's your whistle that's pretty much all it is to it but the you know the cool factor is is that your uh your knife you can have a little knife with you all the time to cut open boxes you just take your bracelet off and and cut just be careful putting your bracelet on right so you don't cut yourself in the wrong spot <laughs> anyway all right let me get this fixed up all right so for the replacement you guys can see this right here right so this is the temperature thermometer don't need that so i'm ditching that for this guy and this is this cool little light it's got batteries stacked up in there should last for a while could use it for something else now i just need to get a little glue All right. put a little glue in here and then go flying out shove that in there Yeah, you got something like that. Kind of cool, right? It's pretty neat. I'm going to try doing one big adjustable loop. I just need to put the two strands together, side by side. They need to stay together. And the first step that I'm going to want to do here is push this through. You got to be careful with Titan Survival Core because it does get a little saggy in the inside there and it wants to bu bu bubble up because it's got all that stuff inside of it and you'll bring it around you can see that well it's just a loop and then i'm just going to pull it through we're doing this the simplest way possible uh, so it's not like everyone else's type of paracord bracelet i want to do something different I kind of want this to just be something real simple that you've got some cordage if you need it and you can use it and you can unwind it quickly instead of because usually typically with the braids the cobras and stuff like that people do you end up with something you really can't take apart and you're sitting there trying to unwind every single little strand it's very difficult so i want to do something different today and so you'll take this in and just extend your arm out and bring the rest of this together. And then you're going to take this side and do the same thing. So we're going to try and make something adjustable today. We'll see if we can do that. I've never made one like this before and I've never seen one done this way. So kind of doing something unique. This is the type of stuff I like to do. Just something that's not like everybody else. Alright, so you want to figure out about how much room your wrist is going to need. How fat this thing's going to get. Sometimes I get a little crazy with these things. I make them a bit too big. So first off, you kind of want to put your arm out and just see kind of where you're going to be. Just gauge it and then keep that locked down. And then remove very carefully remove the bracelet if you can there we go then so we got it like this now we're just gonna bring this down all the way down to here and then we're gonna bring this up it's kind of like how I wrap knives I do the same thing with with other stuff too so we don't need because this is going to be adjustable 
we should just be able to do this. Make sure we stay on the same plane. You don't want to screw that up. And just bring both pieces up to the top. Right up here. And just make sure everything stays even and straight. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to start from up here. And the first thing that I need to do here is try to incorporate this into the bracelet. So I'm going to have to make sure I have the exact room that I need. To incorporate that it doesn't matter how big my wrist is at this moment because without all this stuff in there it really won't make much sense so you can fold it you can fold it make it one piece like this but then that's going to make it really big right so we're just going to do it like this and just go ahead and Adjust, adjust, adjust until you get that right amount that you need. Might not look perfect, but this is what we're going for. All right. So to get this started, we're going to... I might have to use... Hoping that I don't have to use tape on this thing because I really don't want to. I might put it between... Let's put it between the two like that oh it's perfect there we go that's what i wanted to do all right so i got this hold it <laughs> don't let it move and then just bring it around and pull her tight try and keep these straight and then just start letting it rip i gotta try and keep these in between and they don't need to pop out and you just keep spinning i've got this here you're just going to keep rolling it and rolling it until we get all the way down to the very end of this thing and the key is getting it as tight as you can get it you want to roll it and you want this to be practical imagine if you had something like this you could utilize the knife utilize everything about it and just simply undo it and it just it'll unravel <laughs> the whole thing will just unravel and that's the cool part about it now i gotta bring it down here this is really awkward to do but i gotta keep my fingers hurt from trying to pull this but uh that just kind of goes with doing this stuff i need to cut these ends because they're starting to bind up and that's not helping me right now see that now it's starting to straighten out I don't know how much more I'll be able to get down here on the end here, but I just need to find the pull points right here. So I need to get those in there. And probably the best way of doing that is I need my flat needle nose. And just sort of push them through. It's probably the fastest way of doing it. Like that. And let's just grab this little guy right here and like that that should do it and now i've got i got to keep this tight too now all i do now is simply pull down here and this becomes one big piece it's just pretty awkward to get the end pulled tight now as you pull this tight you know you're just grabbing what the end that you actually use to pull down here you're this is going to get real tight down here on the end once you're done once you've done that we can snip off the ends and you can tuck in the uh, survival kit a little bit more by hand because it's just going to have a little little section there hanging out you just need to stuff it in a little bit more and just be careful not to burn the kit when you're doing this I like using a torch for all these. It just makes life a little bit easier. And then I just sort of lick my finger. <laughs> just like that. And then scrape away the excess. And then you'll get some of this copper wire when you do these. A little copper wire piece sticking up right there. That'll poke you. So you want to cut that off. 
and get that out of the way. And if you have to, you can use a file over the top of one of these just to file like this and just sort of, and that'll take it off if it's getting in your way. And the rest of this, you're just going to sort of adjust. And like I said, with this down here on the end, you're just going to sort of tuck that in and just give it a push right back in this little slot there. And then that'll be hit away for you. And then when you're done, you're left with this crazy. <laughs> it's really not that big, to be honest. I'll show you guys real quick. It is much smaller. You see some of these crazy ideas I come up with. It is much smaller in comparison. You can see the difference there. It is way smaller. And it's still packed with everything that this one has. This one has just a little bit more items in it. Not much more, but that's a lot better idea, I think. Interesting. You can flip it around like this. And you can still see the uh, little neon fishing weights in there inside that clear kit. So makes it kind of interesting to wear. But this is this is for rapid use, not not for not for show and trying to be super cool you know impress your friends this is it's a rapid use it's like when you're really out in the woods and you're really in a situation you really need it this is something a little bit more practical for because all i have to do is you undo it right there where it's singed and pull through and it just spins unrivaled and and it's slightly adjustable so it just you'd have to make it a bit smaller on the survival kit side but i'm way to pack everything into it because i'm cray cray like that anyway that's it hope you enjoyed it god bless you guys and please like share and subscribe